Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. But if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. But ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. We are living in a time where the wickedness of men is at an all times high. It seems as if the people do not know the difference between good and evil. Many people are departing from the truth of the Most High to follow the lust of their flesh. The scripture said, in the last days, many will become lovers of themselves. Vanity will be at an all time high. In addition, the hearts of many will become cold. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce, breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. If you defend righteousness, the kingdom of darkness use its human agents to make it appear as if you are the enemy. The beast system has desensitized the people. The kingdom of darkness reversed everything the Most High has put into place for his creation to follow with all sorts of perversions. The scriptures say, Woe unto the people who call evil good. These individuals praise and glorify iniquity. The scripture said, woe to those who call good evil. Many people in the beast system shame and disgrace those who wants to abide by the laws of the Most High. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This generation has zero tolerance for the people who speak truth and choose to follow the scriptures. That is why the road to eternal life with the Most High is narrow. Only a few will find that road. The road that leads to destruction is overpopulated with Israelites, strangers, and heathens. The people who are on the broad road are those who follow the beast system, the people who side with the popular opinion, the people who share the same views with the beast system, are on the broad road to destruction. I notice an increase of Israelites deflecting to change the narrative. They hear the word, but they choose to reject the word to create a false reality. They are rejecting the commands of the Most High, just as our ancestors have done in the past. Some Israelites rather hear the lies that encourage iniquity in their life than to humble themselves and serve the Most High. But the time will come. And they will not endure sounder doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Instead of repenting, they will look for scriptures to justify their sins. The awakening is about repentance, Israelites. Repentance is not saying, I repent. The proper way to repent is by letting the Most High renew your minds. In addition, submitting to the statutes, commandments, and laws of the Most High to bring forth the necessary change. You cannot repent without change. The Most High would have redeemed His people a long time ago if they were ready to serve Him. The purpose of the awakening is to bring change. The awakening is not about endorsing iniquity, nor continue the path that is leading you on the broad road to destruction. The Israelites who are adhering to the statutes of the Most High, the awakening will bring them closer to the Most High. The Most High will not draw a worker of iniquity to himself. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day.
When the words of the Most High penetrate the spirit of his people to bring the necessary change, many Israelites reject the blessing because it does not feel good. You cannot draw near to the Most High and continue in sin, nor follow the ways of this world. Many Israelites and strangers come up with multiple excuses to why their life is falling apart. The strangers say, I am twisting scriptures. The lost Israelites in the beast system wants me to teach love, just as religion teach doctrines of devils that are pleasing to their flesh. You want me to teach love? What is love? And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Yah is love. If I'm speaking on the words of the Most High in its proper context, is it not love? If what I do is glorifying the Most High and the scripture said, Yah is love, I would be teaching love, right? The beast system has a different interpretation of love. Many are misled with the beast system definition of love. The beast system teaches false love. How can a person who is serving the Most High in the Spirit and in truth share the same belief with a person who is a member of a terrorist hate group? Terrorist groups such as the Ku Klux Klan who proudly display their Christian faith. Should I profess my love for them while they are lynching me? A popular doctrine in the church is to love your neighbor. Can an evangelical who is a member of a terrorist group love their neighbor? The scripture said, if you do not correct a person when they are lost in iniquity, Yah would hold you accountable. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Many would gather like vultures to bully a person, that is today's atmosphere. The kingdom of darkness does this to invoke fear, also to stop you from interrupting its hold on a person. The people who are saying focus on love, would they lay down their life for another person or hinder their lifestyle to save a family member? The scripture said that is the greatest love. Love is not what the beast system say it is. Many people suffer from the individualistic mindset, the save myself mentality. The man that saved himself and left his daughter to fend for herself is a great example of the false love the beast system promotes. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. I know of many that would take a life, destroy the life of a person they believe offend them, yet you want me to submit to the beast system's ways to make you feel good. The awakening is not about making you feel good. The anointing teachings from the Most High are meant to set you free and deliver you from bondage. Many people are trapped in the beast system indoctrinations. They cannot see freedom at their door. They rather go back into bondage just as our ancestors wanted to go back to Mizraim, Egypt, because they were blinded by the illusions of Egypt. They forgot they were in bondage. Setting them free became a burden. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in this wilderness? And wherefore hath the Lord brought us unto this land, to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Egypt? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return into Egypt. Many of our people do not realize they are bondmen and bondwomen until this day. What you are learning in the awakening is meant to crush the head of the serpent and tear down strongholds. The reason so many Israelites, strangers and heathens praise evil and shame good, many are following seducing spirits. Familiar spirits are leading many astray. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Many Israelites do not interact with the Holy Spirit. Many have a relationship with unclean spirits, pretending to be the spirit of the Most High. Israelites, everything is a spirit. Anger, hate, manipulation, love, peace, prosperity, 
All personality traits and emotions are spirits. If you seek peace, you ask the Most High for his perfect peace that surpass all understanding to rest upon you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. When you get angry, it is a spirit that comes over you. When you are sad, it is a spirit. Israelites, it is important to keep your minds on the affairs of the Most High to attract the spirit of the Most High. When you allow yourself to fall into low energy, you attract foul, seducing spirits. The scripture said the steps of the righteous are led by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. For the Most High to order your steps, you need the Holy Spirit. The Most High has the Holy Spirit. Satan has familiar spirits. Satan is the king of imitations. If you do not know the voice of the Most High, you will be misled by familiar spirits in the beast system. Imitating the Most High's Holy Spirit with familiar spirits is how Satan can make evil good and good evil. Satan used the flesh to draw you in. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father. It is of the world. The kingdom of darkness want you to operate in the flesh. That is how Satan and his angels can control you. A person living in the flesh is a person that reasons and do everything based on what they see and feel. They cannot look past what's in front of them. This is why a person who operate in the flesh cannot please the Most High. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. A person operating in the flesh cannot understand the spirit. The flesh and the spirit are at odds with each other. The people who are led by familiar spirits in the flesh are angry and their response to everything concerning the spirit stems from anger and pride. When a person is in the flesh, Satan deceived them to believe the Most High is pleased with them. Many of us in the awakening have interacted with many Israelites who are carnally minded and does everything according to the flesh. These individuals are the ones who would cuss you out, degrade the daughters of Zion, and do not hold themselves accountable for anything. A person operating in the flesh has zero understanding. That is why they respond in the flesh. The flesh is an enemy to the spirit. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Remember, Yah is a spirit. The Most High operates in the spirit. Everything the Most High does is according to the spirit. That is why you must look beyond what is in front of you to understand the Most High. The scripture said the unseen things are eternal and the seen things are temporary. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Because many people have zero understanding on how to submit to the spirit of the Most High, familiar spirits are guiding them. Familiar spirits are enforcing the wisdom of this world into their hearts. The scriptures reveal Satan is a liar and the father of lies. In addition, Satan imitate everything the Most High does to win the trust and support of many. If the information the familiar spirits reveal to them reason with their flesh, many will submit to the seducing spirits. It is important Israelites to know who is speaking to you. The people who are led by familiar spirits are double-minded. The scriptures reveal a double-minded person is unstable in everything he or she does. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Familiar spirits take on the likeness of the people you love and trust to deceive you. Familiar spirits are exactly what the name describes. They are familiar with you. They know you and your bloodline. The workers of iniquity use familiar spirits to deceive its victims. Sorcerers use familiar spirits. False prophets use familiar spirits to prophesy. Religious leaders in the pagan church are deceived by familiar spirits pretending to be the Holy Spirit. If the religious leaders in the pagan church were under the influence of the Holy Spirit, they would have come out of religion a long time ago. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, 
that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. The religious leaders, such as pastors, deacons, evangelists, and other roles in the church who are not workers of iniquity in the beast system, they are being deceived by familiar spirits. The high-level workers of iniquity in all establishments use familiar spirits. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness, fight in the spirit. Israelites, respond in the flesh, giving the kingdom of darkness the upper hand. Remember, all things in the flesh is controlled by the kingdom of darkness. You cannot win the battle when you give the enemy home field advantage. Satan cannot cast out Satan. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Israelites, this is how the kingdom of darkness attack in the spirit. Foul, unclean spirits attack your dream life. Your dream life is the spirit realm. Unclean spirits attack your dream life to plant evil seeds in the garden of your life while you sleep. If you do nothing about the evil seed planted by the kingdom of darkness, a covenant is established giving the kingdom of darkness permission to infiltrate your life. You are the most vulnerable when you sleep. In addition, many Israelites do not know anything about the dream world, the spirit realm. Most believe the images or the vision they see are useless dreams with no meaning. That is false. The Most High speak to you in your dreams. For God speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. Did you know most of the stories you read in the scriptures took place in the spirit realm? Most of the covenants established between the Most High and His people happened in the spirit realm. When the Most High transferred Abraham's covenant to Jacob and his descendants, Yah established a covenant while Jacob slept. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows, and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Samuel that Yah stopped speaking to King Saul. The scriptures went on to reveal the ways the Most High spoke to Saul before his downfall. Using dreams was one of the ways the Most High spoke to King Saul. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. The kingdom of darkness is planting many wicked seeds in the lives of many Israelites while they sleep. That is why the Israelite community is in the condition it is in. The division between us is a stronghold the kingdom of darkness used against the people of the Most High. Israelites who operate in the flesh fall into this trap. They begin to shift blame, create doctrines of devils, while some abandon their community to start a new life with their enemy, the heathens. Everything evil taking place in the Israelite community is an attack from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High will allow the attack because iniquity is found in his people. To some Israelites, the downward spiral of our community is normal. Some Israelites do not have a connection with the Spirit of the Most High. That is why the Holy Spirit is dormant in them. When you operate in the Spirit, you can see the enemy behind the scenes planting evil seeds in the lives of many. Therefore, you do not look at what is seen, but the unseen. In order to gain the Most High's assistance, you must operate in the Spirit. You cannot defeat your enemy in the flesh. Operating in the flesh is placing yourself into bondage. It is time, Israelites, that you understand the world you live in. You need to learn what is happening around you. You must graduate from drinking milk onto solid food. You can no longer sit around and talk. The kingdom of darkness is attacking every aspect of your life. 
You must stand your ground and seek the face of the Most High to get the upper hand. Operating in the flesh has no advantage. In order to see the Most High, you must seek His face, discern His voice, and follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The beast system has trained Israelites to operate in the flesh. That is why we remain defeated as a people. Until we learn to seek the Most High in the Spirit and in truth, we will go around in circles just as our ancestors went in circles for multiple years in the wilderness. But the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness to all the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord sware that he would not show them the land, which the Lord sware unto their fathers that he would give us, a land that floweth with milk and honey. The truth of the Most High's words should not offend Israelites. Your emotions should not lead you when it comes to the affairs of the Most High. The Holy Spirit should lead you in every aspect of your life. It does not profit Israelites at all when you operate in the flesh. Operating in the flesh brings the judgment of the Most High into your life. The Israelites who refuse to submit to the will of the Most High, the Most High will hand you over to the lust of your flesh. You will become a bondman and a bondwoman to sin. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Israelites, it is important to operate in the spirit to connect with the Most High. You will not find the Most High operating in the flesh. You must renew your minds to receive the deep things of the Most High. Operating in the preconditioned mindset from the beast system will cause you to stumble. This is the awakening. The Most High wants to reveal a vast amount of information that will set you free. Israelites, are you ready to graduate to get closer to the Most High? For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of the melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation has gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust.